and just you might as well just come sit right here. <laughs> seriously. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, okay. Everyone. Whenever you're ready. Absolutely. I'm Mr. MKL. This is Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. We're doing the Master Sword percent, so uh, it's the newbie category. And since I'm still a nub at this game, um, we're just gonna go up and get the Master Sword. So uh, time is when you pick up the Master Sword. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Time, time ends when, uh, when, as soon as I pick up the Master Sword. And uh, Matt, time will start in three, two, one, go. His finger count was wrong there. Yeah, yes, it one, was. I know. Three, he was, two. <laughs> it was distracting me. <laughs> yeah, good job. Let us go. <laughs> All right. So we're running the Japanese version here because not only does the, the, the text change save us a bit of time, but more importantly, there are a couple glitches in the version 1.0 of the Japanese card that, um, that we can do that we can't do on the North American version. So uh, that'll, that'll help save us a bit of time. Alrighty, so for anyone who's played, I'm sure a lot of people have just played this game casually when they were growing up. Um, oops. Uh, <laughs> one of the uh, biggest ways to save time in this game, and it's one of the um, it's one of the little movement optimizations people do, is called uh, wall pumping, and it's actually you have to basically mash diagonals into a wall in order to be able to speed up Link a bit, and it's uh, it's little frame saves here and there, but over the course of the entire run. It makes a big difference. Um, I am horrible at it and will probably be slower because of it, but um, we're working at it. The best runner for this game is Canadian as well. I think it's Zelna. Is, I didn't realize he was Canadian. He's Canadian. All right, just damage boost through those guys. Well, there you go. I've got a, I've got a lot to live up to. Mm -hmm. I think I don't know what the world record is in this category. It's uh, I'm off by like 15 minutes or something like that. You don't have the dash yet, right? No, not yet. So we'll get the dash boots after the first dungeon. Um, so until then... We're walking. Yeah, we're walking. We're taking the slow route. So why are you speedrunning Zelda? What what brought this up? I mean, I've been doing like Mega Man style games for basically since I started speedrunning, um, and I wanted a change of pace. So I figured go to a, go to an RPG of sorts. And um, I've always loved the Zelda series, so I figured this was a this was a good game to to pick up. It has a nice little beginner category. Oops. Okay. That is so not the optimal way to do that room, but whatever works, right? Right, Russell? You don't need the one cycle yellow devils. No, you, you don't. No. I don't think there'll be a crowd here when I do my Mega Man 3 later, so it's fine. It's, fine. <laughs> it's much better. Less pressure. Less pressure. So we're going to go pick up Zelda. Yep, the princess is, of course, sitting trapped in a cage somewhere. I had a hard time with this the first time. Okay. I know, yeah. that guy, he's no fun to fight. Yeah. Um, you can, <laughs> you'll just completely dodge his shots if you just sit there and swing at him, but um, he, he hits hard. Like, uh, the first handful of my, my runs for this game ended there. Hmm? All right. <laughs> that was fine. I mean, the guards <laughs> aren't the brightest here, guys. Come on, they're, they're minimum wage employees. Y you wanted to showcase the boomerang. <laughs> so you did it like There's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not intending to hit yeah. anyone. Just showing off. So now we got to get out of this castle. Mm -hmm. So we're just doing a bit of backtracking here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're going to have to go and track down some secret passages yeah. in this castle. Fortunately, I get to avoid all these guys now. Yeah. Yeah, there's a. <laughs> this is one of the least interesting parts of yeah. the game. Um, just coming back. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll get into the sewers soon, right? Everyone loves sewers. 
So you are doing the Japanese version, which has the, the glitch that allows you to move. Um, I don't know what you call that, that glitch. I mean, I think it's just called like the super speed glitch. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, typically, once you get the dash boots, you can only dash in straight lines. Um, uh, you can't you can't turn. But with this little glitch, you'll be able to maintain dash speed, um, but have full control over Link as well. So it, uh, it makes some parts of the game much quicker, because you can just dash all over the place without having to, having to worry about line of sights and such. Oh, the rats. Yeah, I know. And these are like, this is the thing, these rats are all RNG. You have yeah. no idea where they're going to be. Um, these snakes, too, right here, this can be, that can be a horrible little corridor if uh, the RNG gods decide to be mean to you. Whoops. Oh. There you go. The pincer attack. One of the, um, in, a, in an upcoming room, I'm going to have to grab a key out of a rat. The, um, the only consistent thing about this is that the, the key rat will spawn, this room here, will always spawn at the left side of the room. So that guy there, it's almost always the first one you see, but he can be in that top corner, um, which can ends up losing you some time. So Here, that's just fly out of your way, though. So far, so, so good. Yeah, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. And this next room here, um, there's two text box. If you just walk right directly here, you'll avoid the first one and only have to do the second one. Um, and thankfully, I no longer drop bombs on my head by pulling mm -hmm. the wrong trigger. <laughs> I love how you ended up in the church. Just it's, it's the sanctuary. It's my safe space. So in this chest beside us here, we've got a, a full heart container, uh, which I will get because dying is a very real possibility. Death Mountain is a death mountain. De you're right, it's called Death Mountain it's for death, a very good death reason. Death Mountain for a reason. Oh, <laughs> 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 just walk right into he just walked out. around the old guy. <laughs> All right. And uh, fortunately, normally the uh, a lot of the A Link to the Past categories don't allow for save and quit, but the Master Sword category does, um, probably just to... It's just, honestly, otherwise yeah. you just, it's just a waste of boring time just walking around the overworld, right? So there's not much fun to that. So we'll just cut it out and save and quit. So where are we off to now? Now we're off to the Eastern Palace. Um, in this, we'll be able to get our bow and arrows as well as the dash boots afterwards. So Yay, this, ooh, come on. This is, uh, after this dungeon is where the game really starts to pick up pace. Ah, oh. if you mash up, that you can if you wall pump up those stairs, you can beat the guard um, coming back, so you don't have to wait for him or get hit. I don't know about you, but as a kid, that was impossible. That little corridor was always a pain when I was younger. I could never. I, I don't know. I just always got killed. Yeah, I know, but like now you just, it's so easy. I just see it coming. All right, so here's the first real speed trick of the game. Um, you want to be, ideally only two skeletons will spawn. One, ah, see, I got three. Usually there are, I believe, four skeletons in that room. Um, there are invisible lines, which will trigger them spawning. Uh, but if you, you can be very careful and only walk over one of the lines, so only two out of the four skeletons will spawn. Enjoying the music, Russell? A little bit. Just need to get in here to grab a key. It just feels nostalgic when, uh, when you play this game. Or even oh, watching somebody play this game. It takes you back. Yeah. Everybody knows that Zelda theme, uh, the music, so. Ocarina of Time changed the game too with his music, so. Oh, yeah. Alright, so here. Oops. All right, this is going to be a little bit dangerous, so I'm going to get more health. 
There you go. Yeah. Perfect. So that's a skip right there that he did. Yeah, it's a little bit of a skip. Normally, you'd have to kill all the enemies in the room, but um, by damage boosting into the pot, you can just pick it up and then hit the switch. Usually, you'll, it only takes two hits uh, if you position it perfectly, but we can't all be gods. Just making sure I grab enough arrows for the boss fight. Um, I want to get as many as possible in this dungeon to take me through the next two bosses. How are you doing in life for the boss? Is it okay? Um, yeah, I should be all right. I'll have an opportunity to pick up a bit more health too, so. Nice. We don't need Chasing me down. We don't need a lamp. It's fine. <laughs> You're supposed to light up the, la uh, the, the lamps there so that you get light. What a waste of time. Yeah, Going to the pause menu. Come on, we're better than that. <laughs> All right, I, Wait, didn't <laughs> I didn't get hit there this yeah. time. I wasn't going to say anything, but uh, that was a bad boulder room, though. It's one of those things, it's just complete RNG. There's not much you can do about it. There we go. So here's a uh, boss time. Yeah, one more room, and then we're on to the boss. I'm going to be trying to get the quick kill on this boss. Oh, right. <gasps> you close. hit him in the side, and for some reason. So ideally, you will not see a red one of these guys. Oh, no, one got away. One got away. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Oops. OK, good job. Ooh. I know. <laughs> I got my fancy sparkly thing. It's one of the most entertaining but useless tricks in this yeah. game. Doesn't add anything. It just looks cool. Exactly. Just, oh no, you got full magic. All right, and now we're off to talk to Shahasrala Shmaralala. What is his name? Does anybody know this guy's name? <laughs> Sur Sriracha Man? <laughs> Sriracha Man. Okay. So we're going to go see Sriracha Man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't visit the ducky, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's a bad choice. It's just in general, listening to ducky is a bad left cho life choice. <laughs> so we're going to get our fancy Pegasus boots, mm. and uh, this is going to make our life much better. Finally. Uh, save and quit. Go back home. Yeah. Okay. There we go. This is so much better. We can run now. Mm -hmm. oh, and what? so we got to go get a book to do some translating. And that'll let us into the second dungeon. So here, I'll try to show off the super speed trick here. This is only a bit of a time save. But woo! woo. Look at us go. Only Whoop. a Japanese version. Yeah, Japanese 1.0 only. Yeah. Now, uh, a raise of hand. Who who knew to, to dash into that to get the book? Because I, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> who? who, who? <laughs> Come on, Russell. No, okay. Do, you, so do you even video game? It was just me then. Fine. I press start. It's okay. And then Nintendo Power did, did existed for a reason. <laughs> I was going to say, okay? did you have to go check out Game Facts? Yeah, Is that course. what happened? No, Nintendo Power, man. <laughs> Game facts. Internet wasn't back. <laughs> there was no internet. Yeah, there was no internet. <laughs> okay, good. Bird didn't hit me. See, like, this is so much better than walking yeah. around the overworld. Okay, we're going to go to another uh, Yeah, castle. we're just approaching the second dungeon now. We need the book for this to read yeah. the inscription. You would think you can just jump over the... Yeah, but it must like be at the yeah, small... I, I assume they're like three stories high. Mm. That's the only explanation. He looks li Link looks like he's taller than those things blocking right? the way. So. All right, castle two. Oops. Okay. Missed him. Use the book. It's fine. <laughs> Use the book. I read him a bedtime yeah. story. He didn't like it. <laughs> All right, there you go. So that's a little nice little uh, time saver there. If you actually rub right against um, 
the, uh, the lantern that the key is on and then go past it and hit the wall, it'll knock the key off anyways and uh, lines you up perfectly there. So Something I never knew until I actually started speedrunning this game. Oh. <laughs> Why you gotta be like that? Oh, that guy does not like me. These cannonballs, they don't like you at all. It, no, I know. I've been these cannonballs have been bothering me all day. That's fine. So I was, I was doing a practice run last night, and I actually <laughs> I died on this boss. And it's the <laughs> first time I've done that in months. So I just yeah, shake it off now. Yeah, exactly. This is I gotta get my revenge now. And for some reason, I'm not sure why. Like, this is so silly. Like, you're forced to hit this button to open the door on the way in and on the way out. What? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I automatically close the door again for some reason. I believe. Okay. Brief yes. little detour outside. You know, enjoy the scenery. Just the boss is outside. I always like the uh, like basically two separate dungeons in a dungeon in the Zelda games, right? Like there's the Lost Wood dungeon in, um, in the Dark World that's very similar. That was always a cool concept. Nice. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, that was a good. Just can't get that eye to look again. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's so, alright. Coming right up to the second boss. Um, oops, no. Bad menuing. I don't know about you, but that always that's the worst feeling for me. It's uh, messing up in the menus in Mega Man. <laughs> it's always like, it just feels so bad. Store man. So the um, the arrows do significantly more damage than than the sword in this, but just to be able to get extra hits in, it's good to go for the swords. Plus, I'm bad at aiming, so. Nice shot. Thank you. No, they're running away. Stop running away. All right. <laughs> and I'm, yeah, I'm out of arrows now. <laughs> so let's do this the hard way, guys. Okay, okay, okay. One more shot, there. Okay. Where are you? Let's go. I even got two hits on that. Come on, why aren't you dead? Should just be the one more. There yeah, we go. Yeah, good job. Okay. All One right. More. I made it through it. I didn't die. Yeah, yeah. Success. You had a I lot mean, of I, life. I, can, so. I can still die. Don't yeah. get me wrong. <laughs> you ran out of arrows, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's not, that's not so bad. That's the last time I really needed the arrows. So next boss is going to be done all with the sword. There's a bit of a backup strat where you can use bombs, but it's not really much of a time saver. Um, right. Here comes the best part of the game, that mountain. Guys, remember to go to the right place. Did I write account? <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, like it's it's very helpful if you go to the right place in the game. <laughs> it's okay. You <laughs> magically earned twenty hearts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this game is so much easier now. <laughs> you have all the items in that file. <laughs> all right, so where all are right. we off to now? We're off. We're off to Death Mountain, a, a place that has earned its name. So we're going to go meet an old man. Yeah. He's going to tell us some stories and give us a mirror for some reason. Um, but the mirror is really important <laughs> for 100%. Uh, 100%. Oh, yeah.
He gets you out of dungeons by just activating the mirror. Yeah, you'll see that in the upcoming dungeon here, uh, Tower of Hera. Do you need the mirror for this one? Um, yeah, yeah, you do. You get, you get it no matter what, just by virtue of going up Death Mountain. Um, and then uh, you do use it to get to the last dungeon as well as in it a couple times, mm -hmm. just to warp back to the beginning. Okay, okay, this is going to be the thing. Yeah, so this, yeah. How nice are the boulders going to be? <laughs> no, stop that. Stop <gasps> that. It wasn't even the boulders this time. I know, I know. And I didn't make it there, so it's going to take me back. Okay, okay. okay. That's, that's where it takes you. That's, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. bad. You died. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to go through the text boxes again, of course. That's okay. This is games finish adequately. Right? Yeah. Temper your expectations, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is the good thing about the GFAs, though. It's like I always yeah. have such a good time doing yeah. them, right? It's like it's not really stressful. Yeah. If I die, great. I'll laugh about it. Yeah. But even in a normal like SDDQ, everybody will just wave it off. The only oh, thing that yeah. it will affect people are just the, the speedrunners. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. That boulder. That boulder. <laughs> definitely it hit you. Me, okay, so this is completely random. Yeah, this is all RNG. He doesn't really have a lot of life. Okay, he got the he got the glitch. All right, and I didn't. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Good job. That's so much faster. All right. Was it Whee. you that was playing when that uh that that little furry thing was the blocked the way, right? Yeah, yeah. He blocked the staircase. Well, we're, I'm gonna hope it doesn't happen. It was yeah. right in front of the tower. All right, and that little guy too. If if yeah. he if he bounces into you, it forces you to talk to him. So right so here. So this guy here, that guy was a jerk at the last GFA and actually blocked my entrance to this, <laughs> to this dungeon. <laughs> and we're like, what do we what do? What do, we do, do? What what do, do, I do? I do? This has never happened. <laughs> I don't know what to do, guys. What do I do? Use the mirror. <laughs> so this is the good thing. Get that. Hit the mirror. Right back to the beginning of the dungeon. So that's a it's a good way to save you some time. Um, there we go. Ooh, fancy. This is the... Oh, this is there's a trick here, right? There, I, I, there is. I was going to learn it, but... <laughs> so, Adequate, uh, right? yes. Yeah. Basically, the speedrunners, um, the one that do 100%, you can actually hide on the on top of the blue thing, the blue switch. Or, sorry, the blue... Yeah, the brick. blue pillars yeah. um, that so will appear. So, basically, those spinning things will not hit you. You just, you just stand there. You do nothing. But in here, in this situation, he has to hit them, unfortunately. But regardless, I mean, you really had no choice. You have to wait for all of this to finish. Yeah. The only real thing you can do is toss a boomerang at it, so it'll um, it'll destroy that last tile a little sooner. Yay, boss game. All right. And back to the beginning. Like without like being able to skip through this and just w teleport back makes this tower so much easier. But this boss is he's not nice either. No, he yeah, isn't. He's, he's um, seriously not nice. He's a run killer. Absolutely. Go. And there's a couple little tricks like if you just hold your sword out and press away from the edge where he can drop you, um, you basically never never fall off. Mm -hmm. But you have to adjust it based on how he's coming at you, so it's a couple things, but yeah, it's, it's, it's never just, easy. It's just one of those things where you just Whoops. fall off and then you have to start again. It's like they're warning you now with all these enemies. Yep. And that's what's gonna happen. Okay. All right. All right. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I'll need it because after this boss, it's a it's a mad dash to the master sword. So, so this guy can just clip you off the clip, and then you have to start again, Ooh, like that. That was close. Oh, oh. oh come on.
Okay, one more hit. No. <gasps> We're good, guys. We're good. <laughs> I was gonna say, watch me fall off the edge as I'm trying to get the heart. <laughs> yeah, just that again. <laughs> okay, nice. good, right, job, good, job, right. good job. That actually went yeah. pretty well, so I'm, I'm pleased about that. No, yeah, no, no. My heart jumped for you. When he gets the Master Sword, that's when you put in the time. Yeah, this you'll is see a it. Master Sword one. This is not a 100% or anything. This is a Master no, Sword. No, it's S word percent. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna actually go to the Sanctuary this time. Yeah. I swear it. All right. Okay, so he's just gonna dash to the master sword, and uh. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, Link needs to get his cardio going, so. But you know what's funny? There's a lot of fake master swords. <laughs> Don't grab the wrong one, no. okay? Never. <laughs> All right, lost woods. Some of the best music in the game, right here. There's a thief here, right? There's that guy. Uh, there is. I don't actually pass him on the way here, so I should be able to get away. Oh, there's right. a sword right there. Uh, that's, no, man. You don't want that one. No, that's that one's the, rusty. That was the right sword. This is the one you want. And yeah. time. Time. Yeah. Look at how beautiful this is. Nice mist flowing throughout the, <laughs> the forest, right? So technically, we save the universe or something. Yep. Right? Yeah, Because, you know, no I more mean, darkness. I mean, realistically, if I were Link, I would take this, sell yeah. it to the highest bidder, and just live off the riches in the, right. the destroyed world that Ganon runs. I mean, that's but, uh, seems reasonable for, to uh, me. But thank you for tuning in. Um, Mr. MKL, so do you have any advice for somebody that's starting uh, speedruns? Uh, if people are starting out speedrunning, you should come out on Discord, check out the Canadian speedrunners um, group. We have a bunch of people who run a ton of different games. They can yeah. help you out and, uh, and show you what's what. Check out speedrun.com. Um, that's where all the leaderboards too, yeah. are, yeah. and uh, you can check out your favorite games, see what the times are like. Get it's, involved. It's People are really helpful. It's a really good hobby, right? It's yeah, a, it's super it, fun. You you would think it's it's hard, but it's not. But it does get a little, yeah, it gets a little trickier. Just make sure yeah. pick a game that you love and know well, but that you don't <laughs> mind yelling at, play because you will be yelling at your games a lot. Play, <laughs> play Ducktales first. That's what right. Dork Master yeah. Flex said. So Absolutely, Ducktales is a Duck great Tales starter is the game. Great yeah, starter absolutely. Game. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna go Final Fantasy.